Alrighty, let's see if we get some people in. Let's see. Epic got remanded from Palmer Aquatics. Nice tanks at 646. Probably forgot. I didn't forget. Uh, I was just getting food ready. Getting some fish food ready. Got some brine shrimp here. And I got some um, krill in here. Um, the krill and the brine shrimps mainly for the cichlids, but I'll give some to the goby as well. I'll wait till Matt comes back. A couple minutes late. Every time I get fish food ready in advance, I'm late. Hey, Tofe. Hey, Hayden. What did you get? Well, um... I won a giveaway on Matthew Moore Cichlids channel, and um, he said it was supposed to come on Monday, which it did. Um, it's the first time I've really gotten a package on time from anywhere, and um, I'll wait for him to come in until I unbox it. But what it would be, hold on, robot shrimp for my fish, should I feed him? Now, or should I wait a week to get used to the pellets and only the shrimp? Dude, he'll eat the shrimp right now. Your devil will eat blood worms, shrimp. He'll probably eat goldfish right now. He'll eat everything. But what this should be is a Tetra Whisper 40 air pump. It's what it should be. That recommended from Palmer Aquatics. I'm back, alright. Welcome, Matt. Um, it came in on time. I'm actually surprised. Usually packages don't come in on time. Sorry, I'm a couple minutes late. Was getting some fish food ready. Um, so. Hey, Caleb, welcome to the stream. I'm going to wait for a couple more people to come in. But do you think I should do it, or will it be pellets? He shouldn't stop eating pellets, and plus it's better for him to eat the shrimp and the frozen foods anyway. It's better for him to eat that than the pellets. Um, it's way better for him. He might eat krill. You might get away with krill. Um, my jag isn't too fond of the krill. He'll eat it. Um, it just takes her a second usually. Got five people in already. Well, bro, he eats some and spits some out. Oh, well. I don't know. Maybe he's a picky eating red devil. I've never ran into that problem. Is the stream messed up? Please don't say it's not messed up. Because I've never had one. I don't like sponge filters, personally. Um... Is it messed up for you, Matt? I can refresh it, I guess. How bad is it? Looks like it's a little off from what I can see. It's not tracking my movements very well. It's Finn. I'm going to get the Red Devil at PetSmart. The stream is fine for me. Well, um... Uh, I don't know, maybe maybe Matt's going to try and come back in again. Because this is his package that he sent me. So I'll wait and see if he's either talking or he'll come back. Okay, I got it. I'm in. Alright. Just making sure. <laughs> okay. I don't think many more people are going to come in, so... Let me go get my, um, box cutter. Don't mind me just grabbing random knives off my floor. This will make a pretty good box cutter, right? Hope you like it. Any fish stuff I like. I haven't had a nice air pump in a long time. Actually, I've never had a nice air pump. I think this will do to open it, though. I don't know what you even though there's like a little tab right here that I could pull. Exact same knife. Well, this one was used in Vietnam. Beat that. Gave me the air stuffing. Well, that's awesome. 
And for some reason, my knife isn't sharpened. Matt, next time, I'm gonna actually enter your giveaway. Bro, I barely... Looks like Rambo's knife. It's pretty cool. It's got a compass on the back here that don't work. Because it was, it's really used. Um, screws off. Just like that. Then it's got fishing supplies, matches... Sorry, Happy. I barely won. Like, if... Good thing just my fish lives in Canada. Or else I would have never got this. I didn't really expect to, personally. But, you know. But I really need to sharpen this. This has cut open many um fish to use as bait. So... Okay, if I ever... Dude, you're gonna get there, man. Alrighty. My favorite part. And I popped one of them. Aw, oh, dang it. No, come on, you gotta pop. There we go. Stuff. Get off the floor. Ow. He's breaking the <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, everyone just like the stream. Everybody just like it. R.I.P. headphone users. <laughs> oh, my favorite part. I love the big packing stuff. Anyway. Here we go. Alrighty, let's open it. Package seems pretty old, so I'm going to try not to rip it. Oh, never mind. It's already ripped. Let's get the world record of dislikes, dude. There's only eight people on here. We're not going to get the world record. Let's see, bro. Here. Instructions. Um, I don't know about you, but if I'm anything like Chris... Here, just throw those away. So here it is. This is probably going to be the nicest air pump I've ever owned. So, all right. Comes with this little doodad here to connect on. Um, I'm pretty sure to connect two different tubes too. It probably doesn't come with a tube. I'll probably have to buy one because I actually don't have any. But there's the basics right there. Did I put a sticker in the bag? I think you did. I'll get that out in a second. I'm doing one thing at a time here. So. See, actually, was there anything else in here? Nope. All right, I'll need to go buy a um some airline tubing. All right, we got a sticker right here. Might need more sticker. I'm probably gonna put this on my tablet case right next to the Palmer Aquatics one. Because um, that's something I will always have. And because it's only one sticker. Um, eventually I'm getting rid of the 55. And it'll be a hassle to get it off of the 55. Um, the only reason there's a Palmer Aquatic sticker on there. Is because he sent me nine of them. But because it's only one. It's not going on the tank. It's going on the main thing. So Michigan thank you for entering my contest. Dude it's, dude, it's awesome that you won. I hope you enjoy the air pump. Chilling like always. Matthew Moore. Right here. Thank you so much. I, I will get great use out of it. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet in the 55. I don't know if I'm going to make a huge bubble wall. Or if I'm just going to choose something that's um like, like just very natural looking. Or if it will be a bubble wall. I don't know. Hey Phoenix. Welcome to the stream. I you can make it. But you missed the unboxing. So this will go right next to the Palmer Aquatics. Watch the Jaguar tear the hose. Um, I 
Actually, I never thought of that. Well, she might. <laughs> Prob probably not, but maybe. Have a RGB bubble wand on mine. I don't know what I'm going to do for it. I might have an air stone or something like that. Or Oh, she will. Oh, well, that'll... That'll be some videos, won't it? <laughs> Are you ready to tear apart air tubes? Hey, you. Come here. Come on. Come on. Come here. Everyone's coming over here. Come on. Here she comes. She's on her way. Come over here. Come on, come further. You're not going to come any further? Look at how low my water is. My cichlid, my cichlids eat sponge filters. I can see it now, Jaguar versus airline team. <laughs> my cichlids eat sponge filters. I'm probably not going to use it on a sponge as a sponge filter. I'm I don't really like sponge filters personally, um, because they look ugly. Really, they work just fine. It's just they look ugly. Um, I'll probably make like an awesome bubble scape. What I used to do in my um. Uh, Sticker Sparta, thank you. I love it. I've actually been one of these ever since I met him and found out that he made stickers. Alright. So I guess that's it. I still have fish to feed. And um, the only thing I hate about the krill is when I melt it down in water. That happens. That is gross. So I have to like drain it. But yeah, all you're missing is the red devil for that tank, bro. I would, but the thing is the jag and the red devil would fight way too much. And it could go either way. Everyone loves the stickers. I can't wait for the black ones I'm ordering. I can't wait for them too because I need one. <laughs> I will make sure. I need to make stickers. I'm actually, um, me and my mom are going to try to find a way to make, uh, make the shirts, um, available to everyone or well get specific people that want to buy them um get them the shirts i'd pull my flower horn out of the tank to take the sponge bill to, to stuck in his teeth out with tweezers i want stickers as fish keeping 101 well i will end up making stickers who was it that made stickers for people i forgot who it was was it jardine jardine Jard jardine i call him jardine jardine aquatics are you on a well? You know, yeah, I am. I'm on a well. Which is why it usually goes to well for me as well. Well, well. Huh. But, um. Yeah. Okay. Because he, he does them for free and all he wants is a YouTube shout out. I, I think is what you said. I want to get some stickers made. Well, apparently Jardine Aquatics does it. Or, how do you say it? Hold on, let me read it. Let me take a close look at reading it. Jadren. Why do I always call him Jardine? I'm confused. But, anyway, we got fish to feed here. Um, uh, let me take you guys off the charger and then take you out of the case. And then, of course, I gotta check my lens. Lens is good. Flip around the camera if possible. And there we go. So, we'll start with the brine shrimp. Because look at this. Look. See, that's like, there's no cloudiness there. Look at that. Jarden for a long time. Yeah, me too. That's what I always call him. But, uh, are you ready? I know you're ready. Low, like, two inch low water. Are you ready, too? Yep, it's ready. I'm going to get in here and clean it. I said I was going to do it today, but instead I filmed a video that I haven't edited nor uploaded yet. Dang, I forgot to give some to the, um... I forgot to give some to the goby. Oh, well. 
I'm not going to have the goby for much longer anyway. I don't like it. Like, he's sick, but I don't know what's wrong with him. It's not internal parasites or, um, and it's not, um, ick. I just used my python on my 75 and it's game changing. Have you thought about salad shrimp from a grocery store? They look big enough. I did tilapia. Um, and um, cause a lot of people told me to do tilapia. But none of the fish in the tank except for the catfish ate the tilapia. Pythons are amazing. A python's just another way to change your water. Just use a siphon. Sure, I'll put a I'll put a snake in here. Why not? I'll put a snake in here. I'll I'll buy an anaconda. Screw screw Python. We can do an anaconda. It's way better than a bucket. There's nothing wrong with a bucket. Come on, man. Stop being lazy. Use your muscles, bro. Anyway. Do you guys want to look at the chair while I go drain this, or do you want to look at the fan? You guys want to look at the fan. There you go. Oh, well. You get to see part of the fan. Alright, I'm back. Hold on, let's see. If your fish. Addict, they should. Many tanks. You should make them an automatic water change system. How do you clean your plants? Hello, Will B. Welcome to the stream. Ethan, for sure, but when you're a 14 year old boy, I'm limited. I have cichlids and plants. They're no bueno. Yeah, don't put don't put cichlids and plants together. That's not a good combo. Um, actually, I had to take out all of my plants. This I used to have a whole bunch of fake plants in here, and you can't them with fake plants, they just destroy everything. You know, that's why you gotta have a nano tank too, because then you can have all that stuff. But here's what krill looks like down there. It's just small shrimp, basically, and um. Frank don't really appeal to it. As you can see, he didn't even eat any, but the Jag will eat it. Um, Dave likes it. I've actually never seen Dave eat that much krill. The convicts seem to be trying. The Jag is absolutely loving it today. But Frank, nah. Oh, there's still some in here. I didn't even see... cool part about having a well is, um, let me feed my tang some right now. What, some krill? But the best part about having a well and fish has got to be the fact that when you're melting down frozen foods, you don't have to use on um, the tank water. Because there's no chlorine. You use salt in a well, which isn't bad for the fish. Man, you're just loving the krill. She's never really liked the krill as much. Oh, Jesus. Get her butt. <laughs> oh, boy.
How do you clean your cichlid rocks like hideouts? I don't clean them. <laughs> yeah, Ethan don't either. Um, because they can grow beneficial bacteria, exactly. I don't clean none of them. That's why I have well water. Yeah, dude. Well water is the best, because everyone, a lot of people actually get on my case, um, a lot of people get on my case because, um, I don't, I don't use the tank water. And then I'm like, dude, I get water from a well, and they're like, it doesn't matter, but it's filtered with salt, not chlorine, so they can have it. All right, let's see what mood the Jag's in tonight. Let's see how she's going to do with her mortal enemy. Looks like she's being quite calm tonight. Yep. Alright, she's in a good mood tonight. I can tell because she's not attacking my tank cleaner. I'm gonna get this thing clean tomorrow. It's disgusting. Bro, I just dropped in some small pieces and he didn't need them at all. Should I keep them in there for later when he's hungry or something? I'm defrosting my blood worms right now. Um, oh, you're asking Ethan? Specifically? Well. Alright. You can leave him in there. He'll eat him later. Ten minutes or so. He'll then take him out. No, you too. Oh. Well, basically how Ethan works on the streams is if I don't get to a question, he answers it. He would. He's basically my moderator, even though I can't figure it out. I have a two liter of Mountain Dew right now. Um, I don't have that. I don't have that right now. I wish I did. My wife packed up all the cups. What cups? Fish don't always eat when you first feed them. They don't, and it's only like it's third day. You should mod Ethan. I do want to give Ethan a mod. I can't figure it out. Um, what do I have to do tonight? Where's the sticker? The sticker's right there. I'll put that on later. Let's turn off the lights and watch the cichlids because they're beautiful. I'm moving to a house so I will have a fish room. Yeah, it's... Oh, oh yeah, you live in an apartment right now. I wish I could have a fish room. That'd be awesome. I can't even upgrade to a larger tank than a 55 right now. I can't wait till my red devil gets as big as yours. Honestly, jags are way cooler than devils. I think so. All Paracromis. Just, they're way cooler than Red Devils. Like, the, the plain orange that Red Devils have, the most, they also have, like, the most common cichlid body shape. All they are is aggressive. It's the only thing they're good for. The only thing they're good for is if you put your hand up next to the tank, they attack it. You know... I like both. Yeah, I do too, but Paracrom is definitely better. Bro, I'm looking at my beast right now. Well, I'm looking at mine. Look at you. Oh, look at that. Oh, she's angry. Ooh. Gosh, I love them. Me don't own Beast yet. <laughs> beast, Oscar. Pfft, what kind of beast is that? Chill out, guys. You both have some predators. Yeah. Yeah. 
But listen, Tofei, we're we're one upping Happy Toast right now. We're one upping Hayden right now. You got a Red Devil. I got a Jaguar. And what does he want? What does he want? An Oscar. Huh. Come on, man. Get with the aggressive cyclic gang. Come on, dude. Look at that. Mm. Ethan isn't a troll. Tofei's in as well. Ethan, Ethan isn't a troll. I like Oscars. They're cool, but Devils and Jags are better. Well, all the Paracromis is better, and I love the Devils the most. I have tiny Predators. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot Matt's still in here with his little puny Tanjaniki cichlids. Ooh, they're so cute. Oscars are wussies when it comes to fighting. Everything else, too. They don't have that big of a mouth. Watch it, Daniel. I'm still a noob. So, the Jaguar Cichlid is a noob cichlid. I just love them. <laughs> Devils are less noob than Jags. Good news. Yes, the fishing dream. And hey, Lisa, welcome to the stream. I did not feed Frank yet, so I think I'm going to feed Frank because... You love Frank. My parents said yes to a tank for late spring. Awesome. Stick your hand in with my altos. We'll show you, Tiny. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, stick your hand in my tank. You'll end up with um, four fingers. No. <laughs> no. Heck, these things, these things got buck teeth. These things got, like, quarter-inch buck teeth in there. Like, even if one of them bites me, it's tearing a piece of skin off. Other than the Devil or the Jag, is there anything else I could get? Convicts are sick, dude. Can't find a Jaguar anywhere besides online. I don't know how. They're, like... Second most common to find cichlid other than Oscars, in my opinion. I see these guys everywhere. All right, we're back. We're back. Two dollars if I put my hand in the tank. Nah. Nope. I'm not... I'm not kidding... To give them minnows any size, <laughs> any any size really, you can find a lot of different size minnows, but like couldn't it choke? Well, you see the thing is how fish breathe, they have gills. Don't feed yours minnows. Feed them worms, crickets, mealworms, and cichlid pellets and minnows. Yeah, for bluegill. But Tofei, don't feed it minnows. Um, yeah, rosy reds for um, your devil. Um, don't feed it, like, wild minnows or anything. You can feed it worms from outside, but not wild minnows. All the diseases they might have, cross-contamination, it would just be a horrible. I don't even know why catch them all fishing even attempts it. How many inches do bluegill grow in one year? From what size? Because, um, don't feed them rosy reds. Why not, dude? What's wrong with rosy reds? You think my fish are big enough for rosy reds? Yeah, but apparently Ethan don't want you to. I feed mine rosy reds and they love them. I mean, I know feeder fish don't have that big of a nutritional value, but it's all its all most of us have. <laughs> most of the people on here are my age right now, Ethan. You're 17. You can have enough tanks. You can have enough tanks to breed feeder fish. We can't. 
I'm so old. Oh yeah, I forgot Matt's still in here. <laughs> yeah, Matt can do that too. Five inches. Okay, do you know how to find lots of worms? Um, Go outside and flip over rocks. I just do it at home. It's killer instinct. I stick mainly to pellets. I mean... A pellet diet isn't really, it's, it, they live, but feed my Oscar pellets, crickets, tilapia, and shrimp. Yeah, but at least when you stick your hand in the tank, you're getting bit by something with sandpaper teeth. In the way, like, just compare to this. That's off topic, the fishing dream. But, like, my fish have never gotten sick from it. Pellets are the staple of any diet. Pellets are so bad for the fish, though. They're as bad as freaking f*** are for them. Definitely not late. Oh, you're not that late. You're only 31 minutes late. Okay. Everyone put it like this. Feeding them good. Feeding them only pellets is bad. Okay. Don't feed them only pellets. I don't care. Okay, gotta go help Mermaid with homework. You got it. Go teach her. Go do what my parents attempted to do with me, but I didn't learn. Just looking at the ingredients on even Hakari. Even Hakari. They're, they, you can't fish meal, wheat, flour, baked corn, or flaked corn. Brewers dye dried yeast. Corn gluten meal, like... How's that unhealthy? State facts help to... Look, look at what's on the back of it. That's not what they eat. How'd it go? Bye. All right. See you, Fish Keeping 101. Just look at this. They don't eat any of that. Have you ever gone carp fishing? Yes. I know they have all that, but they still don't even eat that in the wild. Omega-1 uses salmon skins. Like the pellets, they love them. Yeah. All right. Uh. Thank you. Yeah. MFL. Stay on topic. The fishing dream. Um. What do I? What do I? I use blood worms and brine shrimp. Basically, vary your diet, everyone. Yes, Lamari. Hello. I'm streaming right now, Lamari. Hold on, let me put you on speaker. Uh -oh. Right, anyway, what am I missing here? Major League Fishing. Oh. Why would you talk about Major League Fishing? Come on, dude. Only... Am I on speaker right now? Yes, you are, Lamari. My devil okay. is picking at the shrimp right now. Hi, everyone. My name is Lamari Legendary Fishing. Yeah, well, how come you haven't been responding to any of your comments, brother? I'll tell you later. My mom said that... Um, my mom, I'm pretty sure my mom... Um, is it okay for you with your mom if I can spend the night? Alright. Alright, Ethan, whatever. I don't prefer pellets over um, my frozen foods. I still think frozen foods are much better for them because it's much closer to what they would eat in the wild. Shrimp and the rest pellets. Oh, why? They don't eat this in the wild.
vary your diet, feed both of them, feed every other day if you want good growth. Oh dang, they're fighting. Look at this. Oh dang. Doesn't matter oh my God. what you like. Yeah. It's about the fish's best interest. Well, that is what they eat in the wild, so it is their best interest. I'm not talking to you. Frozen is good, live is best. Well, live food, like Ethan said, it doesn't have a lot of natural... Um, it doesn't have a lot of nutrition, and the, there's risk for diseases. I've talked to so many veterans of the fish-keeping community. I know veterans as well. Uh, my buddy Pat's been, it, been in it for 50 years, and he only just recently stopped. And my personal opinion is that Ish. pellets are good for them, but um, frozen foods are much better for them. Fish. Fish. What, Lamari? I'm trying to what? I'm trying to do two things at once. I don't live on a pond. I live next to a river in a pond. Hi. The fishing dream says hi. Hi. You guys, this is Lamari's legendary fishing. He's not been on his YouTube channel lately because, um, you know, he, he don't care about it. He doesn't try on it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Watch it. What do you mean? I ain't afraid of you, boy. Hey, if I'm on speaker right now, yeah, I'll be posting, I, I should be posting um, soon. Very soon. It's okay. Just take both of our boys. Whatever. Pellet foods are good. That's why I do feed them pellets. I just don't feed them pellets all the time. I feed I do feed them pellets every day. But like I don't feed them that as their main diet. Cuz they're perfectly healthy, bright colors, and um I feed them mostly frozen foods and they love it. And speaking of omega 1, if you if you like omega one so much, that's the type of frozen food I feed my fish. So I like frozen foods. That worked for you, man. That's great. All right. Oh, that's for like a five-gallon bed of tanks. They can. What are you saying? Think of pellets, like a five-gallon beta tank, they can live, but they well, won't live. That's that's a perfect tank size for a beta, Nalan. What, Lamari? What? Well, that's the end of the stream. Hope you guys like it. Welcome to Michigan Aquat Major. <laughs> <laughs> Rocks. You know, it's like you take the beginning of your intro and then you put it in. You I'm know, not using. Outro. I'm not using the intro okay. anymore. I know what. You're not that one. I'm not using any intro anymore. Why? Because it's a lot of work. So you're not having that intro with something in it. I'm changing up the channel a lot right now. Worms are cheap at Petco, catching wild worms, growing the risk for disease and pests. Oh, guess what, guess what, I haven't really got to talk to you about it. We can guess talk what? about this. If, hold on. Hold on, okay. Alright, you guys, I think I'm actually going to end the stream here. That was the unboxing, I hope you all enjoyed it. Um... So, um, 
All right, sorry I have to end it short. Um, I haven't talked to Lamar in a while. I might start up the stream sometime later. Who knows? All right, I'm glad you all are being so um, not mad at me for ending it. All right, see you all later. Hope you enjoyed.